Alrighty. So, we didn't make it out last night scrapping, but we did tear down all the stuff that we had in the truck, or as much as we can for now. And I'm going to try to take in two loads before it's too late. Um, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Oh, no. It's leaking on me. <laughs> I'm going to try to take in two loads. Um, oh, man. All right. I'm going to try to take in two loads before they close today. Well, to two different scrap yards. And, yeah, finish cleaning up all this. This is all just, well, get to moving and just keep going until it's done. And now that it's done, I got to do cleanup. So, yeah. Oh, but that's fine. By the time I go out tonight, that'll all be cleared up. I got most of the tricks, trucks cleared out, which is a plus. So, oh man, yeah. I, I usually take a lot of it over here, set it down, break it apart, and then move on to the next stuff. Um, so. Like I said, I've got a lot of cleaning to do when I get back. It ain't too bad. Oh, take some brass in. And that one's leaking on me too. All brass. Oh, and then that that piece that y'all see me take apart, or that glass square, whatever it was. So these are brass, and about ten pounds or more. Quite heavy. So, but yeah, my scrapyard that buys the coils buys coils brass. And copper at a good price but not a lot of other stuff at a good price so I think that may be all I'm taking to this one and hopefully I can get back in time to make it to ENH yet see onwards one is different than all the other Z's you don't have a big scale to weigh into you back up to containers and unload them into a container if you're unloading steel if you're unloading aluminum or hold up i gotta pick up that or if you're unloading aluminum or copper you unload it right here but I will have to zoom in because I could only record inside the vehicle, so that's a little weird.
go around this way. All right. So we just got paid. We made two hundred and five dollars and ninety cents. Our biggest payout was the radiator coils, which was a hundred and two dollars. The brass was eighty seven dollars and the ac compressors was sixteen dollars so yeah we're gonna try to make it to the next job or the next landscaping area landscape when i am all over it today man i'm so tired okay we are gonna try to make it to the other scrap yard um which we are going to be pushing it big time, but we're going to go ahead and give it a try and see if we can make it out there. The worst that happens is we don't and we'll have to miss a scrap night tonight because the truck's full, um, our trailer's full, but we're going to go ahead and try and hopefully keep our fingers crossed that we'll get there. All right, onwards. <laughs> oh, let me open that. Oh, gotta open the door. Jeff got me sidetracked. Thought I seen him dumping copper and brass, which would have been weird. Oh man, how am I gonna get past this puddle? You know what? Let's go. Cool. <clears throat>
hitchhiker. To put on your shoulder? Yeah. Huh. Never seen that. Yeah, because I had to buy, I bought one of these last night. Yeah? Yeah. Because, see, I got a zip line and stuff. It's just Why didn't you just sell me? I had that at ones that I found. Well, I didn't know. Alright, that's it on that. Huh? I don't think there's much. I'm just getting random stuff out of here. That would be heavy, right? Just need to get on here real quick and let y'all know we made a total of 375 at both scrap yards. Um, I don't know if I really like the way this video is going to come out, but y'all let me know. Alright, please remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye for now.